Hello everybody, this is Kirby over yonder, and I spend a lot of time on this channel talking about Adventure Time. However, that's mostly in terms of analyzing. And when I'm analyzing the show, I usually try to keep my personal opinions on it out of it. I mostly do this to keep these videos unbiased. However, with the show now being 10 years old and Distant Lands coming out in the distant future, I figured it was about time I talk about my favorite and least favorite episodes of Adventure Time. I'm gonna do the best list first, and then the worst list will come out sometime after. So, these are my top 10 favorite episodes of Adventure Time. However, before we get to the list itself, I have to lay out some ground rules. First off, I will not be including Come Along With Me. This is partially because I feel like it would be unfair to compare it to these other episodes, because it's quadruple the length of most of them, and it's also the series finale. Plus, I do plan on doing a full-on retrospective review after I do the worst Adventure Time list. In that video, I will discuss my full opinions on the finale now that it's over a year old. Second off, the Stakes, Islands, and Elements miniseries as a whole are not allowed on the list, however, individual episodes from those miniseries will be allowed on. Double-length episodes, on the other hand, will be allowed on the list. Speaking of which, episodes like Mortal Folly and Mortal Recoil that are technically labeled as two different episodes, but are always aired together and make up one full story, will be counted as one 22-minute episode. Now that we have the rules out of the way, let's get on to the list. At number 10, we have Holly Jolly Secrets. Ah, the Christmas episode, although not technically taking place on Christmas. Despite that, this is one I make sure to watch every time the holidays come around. This is mostly just a cozy episode. It's nice to watch Finn and Jake just chill out and watch Ice King's secret tapes. Meanwhile, Ice King just really wants to watch the secret tapes with them. This episode really makes you feel bad for him in more ways than one. This episode also manages to get some really good humor out of the tapes themselves. It's probably the funniest episode on this list. Speaking of the comedy, I love the joke where Finn and Jake put up a bunch of flyers for people to not watch the tapes with them. Like, that's just such Adventure Time humor, it's so great. And man, the humor in this episode does such a good job juxtaposing the reveal that Ice King was actually a man named Simon Petrikov. To have this reveal come right after an entire episode of Finn and Jake watching the Ice King's private tapes, while also not letting him in, is just so heartbreaking. This episode is very important for significantly changing the status quo of the show, as well as starting what is easily one of its best arcs. And of course, that ending is just so heartwarming. At number 9, we've got Islands Part 6, Min and Marty. This episode serves as an origin story as to how Finn's parents got together and how they were eventually separated. And it is a damn good origin story. It's easy to understand why Minerva would fall for a man like Martin. He's a very charming and charismatic guy. I love Martin's portrayal in this episode. He's still sort of a shady guy, but he's nowhere near the same scumbag we see in Season 6. Really makes you wonder how he became the person he is when Finn meets him. And of course, what Martin did in the end was so tragic. This is made even more tragic by the fact that Minerva never even found out about it, meaning that in her mind, Martin was a scumbag the entire time. And it sucks because they have such good chemistry, I would legit watch an entire series about these two. I also find it interesting that Finn himself never finds out about this. It does a good job showing that there are multiple sides to every story, some sides that we never even hear about ourselves. Min and Marty is just a beautiful episode, definitely well deserving of being my favorite episode of the Islands miniseries. At number 8, we have What Was Missing, an episode that in my opinion deserves its title as a fan favorite episode. This is an episode that's just filled to the brim with a ton of really good character interactions. It's easy to understand why people would root for Bubbleine after watching this episode. The episode paints a very nuanced portrayal of their relationship, where they clearly still both care about each other, but are also pretty dang aggressive towards each other. Jake overall doesn't really get a whole lot to do, but he serves as pretty good comic relief. 
I really love Finn's role in this episode. He does a good job serving as the glue that holds the group together. But of course, the songs are easily the highlight of this episode. I'm Just Your Problem is such a brutally honest reveal of Marceline's true feelings towards Princess Bubblegum. And of course, Olivia Olsen is a wonderful singer. Though I may be a part of the small minority that actually prefers Finn's song to Marceline's. Albeit only by a hair or two. It's just so wholesome and also reveals that Finn does have a bit of an inferiority complex. But again, both sons are amazing, so there's not really any point in comparing them. There is absolutely nothing missing about this episode. It's a wonderful experience from start to finish. At number 7, we have Hall of Egress. One of the most mind-screwy episodes of Adventure Time. It's about Finn being trapped in a mind puzzle where he can only escape this cave if he closes his eyes. This is one of the few times where Finn is basically forced to do something on his own, without the help of any of his friends. The episode does a great job challenging Finn as an adventurer. Everything Finn's learned over the past seven seasons is put to the test. And you feel so good for Finn once he's finally able to solve the Hall of Egress. This episode is also fantastic from a visual standpoint. I love the shade of blue used for when Finn has his eyes closed. And the reveal of what the cave looks like once Finn is actually able to open his eyes is just breathtaking. And Finn's journey takes him across so many different locations in Ew. You can really tell just how much time the artists must have put into this episode. I also like that it's sort of left up in the air as to whether or not any of this actually happened. It leaves you with something to think about once you've finished watching the episode. Hall of Egress is a masterpiece, easily one of the most thought-provoking episodes of the entire series. At number 6, we have Dad's Dungeon. There's a lot of dungeon episodes of Adventure Time, ranging from the Season 1 episode simply titled Dungeon, to later episodes like Vault of Bones, Mystery Dungeon, and Dungeon Train. There's even a comic story about Finn, Jake, and Ice King exploring one of Ice King's ice dungeons. It's a pretty fun read, I highly recommend it. However, of all the dungeon episodes of Adventure Time, Dad's Dungeon is easily my favorite. What I love about this episode is its ability to combine surface-level enjoyment with a nuanced and emotional story. On the surface, it's a pretty fun dungeon adventure episode. I love this gross green guy, his voice is hilarious. And I also love the visuals, music, and overall atmosphere of the flower room. But when you look beyond the surface, you've got a pretty emotional core about Finn feeling like he's inadequate. You understand where Joshua's coming from and that he just wants to toughen Finn up, but you also know that Finn doesn't really need that. And while Joshua's definitely not malicious, I don't think he really knows how to raise a human. I think this is best shown off in the final act of the episode, combining a fun monster battle with Finn dealing with his insecurities. Jake turning Joshua's final message into a rap is a beautiful combination of hilarious and emotional. I also love this shot here, it's just so great. Dad's Dungeon somehow manages to be one of the most fun and most emotionally satisfying episodes in all of Adventure Time. And yes, the Demon Sword is in fact made out of bait. At number 5, we have Wake Up and Escape from the Citadel. Possibly the two most epic episodes in all of Adventure Time. I think Wake Up does a really good job setting the emotional stakes for the episode. You get the feeling that Finn isn't really ready to see his dad yet, almost as if he knows that Martin may be a scumbag. Finn and Jake fighting off a bunch of nightmare prismos is also really fun. I also love the ending to Wake Up. I don't understand what it is with Adventure Time and having such abrupt endings, but it really works here. Escape from the Citadel is when things really get cooking. I love how Martin is just such an irredeemable scumbag. It makes you feel just so terrible for Finn. And I love how the entire time Jake is just such a supportive and caring brother to Finn. Jake's kindness contrasts with Martin's scumminess really nicely, and it shows Finn that even though Martin may be his biological dad, Jake is his real family. I love the design of the Citadel too, there's just so much craziness going on that it's really hard to take your eyes off it. And I don't know how I've talked about the episode for this long without mentioning the Lich. 
This is easily the Lich's best episode. The fact that you only see his skeleton makes him so terrifying, and that speech he gives sends chills down my spine every time I hear it. And while I don't like what the show eventually does with it, the moment where Finn loses his arm itself is incredible. I love how it's this big, dramatic scene, punctuated by just a nice moment of silence, where Jake wraps his arm around Finn and tells him that everything's gonna be okay. Adventure Time really has a knack for using body language to convey a character's emotions, and I think this is one of the best examples of that. While I have mixed thoughts as a whole on Season 6, it's undoubtable that Wake Up and Escape from the Citadel is one of Adventure Time's greatest triumphs. At number 4, we have Three Buckets. This is an episode that feels very climatic to me. While it's not the end of Fern's arc, it's most certainly the turning point. I love how the episode starts out super innocent and fun, with little hints of Fern's aggression thrown in there. While I admittedly wish Fern got maybe one or two more episodes, the show still did an excellent job building up to this episode. One of my favorite moments in this episode is Finn telling Fern how much he feels like they're real brothers, only for Fern to just not respond. It's just so heartbreaking and gives off a sense of coldness to Fern's character. You can feel the tension between Finn and Fern rising as the episode goes on. Finn simply referring to Fern as Grass Finn is just heartbreaking. You know who my favorite is? Nepter. I'm a Nepter guy. I love the fight scene between Finn and Fern. Even after all he's done, Finn still doesn't want to hurt Fern. But at the same time, he's not really given a choice. And man, the scene where Fern presumably dies is just chilling. Much like with that scene in Escape from the Citadel, this scene here uses very little dialogue to convey such strong emotions. Jake and Bimo going up to comfort Finn is one of the saddest moments in the entire series for me. Three Buckets was an excellent finale to Season 9 and showed just how mature Adventure Time could be. At number 3, we have Simon and Marcy. Being one of the show's most critically acclaimed episodes, Simon and Marcy tells the story of a younger Simon and Marceline exploring the post-apocalypse. I love the visuals of this episode, there's just so many little details that it's such a treat to the eyes. And seeing Simon struggle with the crown completely recontextualizes everything we know about his character. He doesn't want to wear the crown, but he has to in order to protect Marceline. But I also like that the episode isn't completely doom and gloom either, it manages to throw in some lighter moments between the titular characters. The comedy in this episode doesn't feel out of place because it makes sense that Simon would want to cheer up Marceline during this time. The episode mixes the comedy with the drama perfectly. And I mean, come on, you gotta love the clambulance. The climax to this episode is definitely the best part. I don't know how I could get emotional about a character singing the Cheers theme song, but somehow this episode does it. And the fact that after all that, Simon calls Marceline Gunther just melts your heart. Simon and Marcy is a masterpiece of an episode. I can definitely see a lot of other people putting this at number one, and I really wouldn't blame them. There's just two episodes I like a little bit more. At number two, we have Elements Part 4, Cloudy. If you knew me, you could probably predict this one, however, if you don't know me, then this is probably a surprise. I'm sure nobody likes this episode as much as I do, but to me, this one is just so delightful. This episode was originally going to be a part of the show's first season, and while I think it would have been a good episode either way, I think it works a lot better as a part of the Elements miniseries. Finn and Jake have gone through and are currently going through so much up to this point in the series that the conversations they have just feel all the more meaningful. The relationship between Finn and Jake is one of my favorite aspects of Adventure Time, and I think this episode sums it up beautifully. It's a bottle episode, and one that reveals so much about the way Finn and Jake are feeling. But it's also just a fun Finn and Jake hangout episode. You don't have to analyze what they're saying to enjoy it, but you can if you want to. 
I love this episode's placement smack a dab in the middle of the Element miniseries. It serves as a nice breather in the middle of what is a pretty heavy and chaotic miniseries. But the episode also feels surprisingly standalone. You can enjoy it with or without the context of the rest of Element. I love the haircut therapy sessions, it's just so adorable, especially the fact that this is apparently something they'd been doing since they were kids. And despite the fact that this episode mostly takes place in one location, there's a lot of different camera angles, making it feel a lot more dynamic. Again, I'm sure I'm in the minority here calling it my second favorite episode of the entire show, but it's one that I just love so much that it's hard for me to put it anywhere lower than number two. And my number one favorite Adventure Time episode is I Remember You. Look, I hate to be predictable. I really do. But I Remember You is a perfect episode of television. While I appreciate the complex storytelling of an episode like Hall of Egress, there's just something so beautiful about the simplicity of I Remember You. Because yeah, this is a very simple episode. Ice King goes to Marceline's house, they sing a few songs, and that's about it. But that's all this episode really needed to be. There's something very sad about the relationship between Marceline and Ice King. You can tell that Marceline doesn't hate the Ice King, but she just can't get over the fact that he's not the person he used to be. And every time she sees the little bit of Simon that is left in the Ice King, he screws it up. But you also feel bad for Ice King too. He's not trying to be a nuisance, he's just a confused old man who doesn't understand what's going on. Much like Cloudy, this is also a battle episode that uses a lot of interesting camera angles to make it feel a lot more dynamic. The comedy in this episode is worked in perfectly. There's just enough to the point where it doesn't distract from the tone, but there are a few good jokes. Plus, the comedy does also make Ice King seem a lot more pathetic, so there is a point to it. It's rhetorical, Gunther. But of course, you can't talk about this episode without mentioning its ending. Very recently, YouTuber Sarah Z uploaded a video about musical episodes of television, and in it she says that the best musicals have characters sing when they can no longer speak, and I think that reigns true here. Marceline is singing a letter written to her by Simon, but what she's singing is also relevant to how she feels about the Ice King. Much like the Ice King himself, the Ice King's singing is a little offbeat, but Marceline sings with him anyways. Because deep down, she still loves and cares about the Ice King, regardless of the person he's become. This is easily my favorite scene in all of Adventure Time. Everything about it is just so perfect, and it never fails to give me the feels. I don't often use this word when describing pieces of fiction, but I Remember You is a perfect episode. It was pretty hard ranking most of these episodes, but I had no doubts that I Remember You would be number one on this list. It's my favorite episode of Adventure Time, and one of my favorite episodes in all of television. So those were my 10 favorite episodes of Adventure Time. Please let me know some of your favorite episodes, as well as whether or not you agree with my list, in the comments. Also, make sure you stay tuned for my top 10 worst Adventure Time episodes coming out sometime soon. Stay safe, have a good day, and Kirby out.